Hey guys, it's Packy123, and I'm here with my 32 game series. And I'm playing as San Diego in this game, and my opponent, who is Plum Bum Stud Muffin, but I don't think I'm going to be saying his name again because my wrist just flopped forward involuntarily. So if I do say his name, uh, remember, no homo when I say it. Okay, and, um, oh, that's is wide open. And this was actually our second game of the day. Uh, the first game, he got the best of me in overtime. Uh, he was the Seahawks and I was uh, the Chargers again. And you can see that game whenever it does come up on my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Pac-23. So whenever that video does come out, just go ahead and check it out. Ooh, fucking bad throw by me. And uh, before I actually get into the breakdown of the team, I just want to know uh, whether or not you guys like the format of the third two game series. Because we get around like 500 views uh, per video. And do you guys prefer um, fucking Brandon Marshall? He's got it. First and ten. Do you guys like uh, the way I, I've been doing it so far? Because right now what I'm doing is going offense first. I break down the offense. Rivers, then I break down the defense. Off. And then I go into the game. And the only negative of that is that I don't really get to cover the game in much. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time just talking about the teams. And... Uh, so do you guys like that, or would you prefer if I just, you know, talked about the game? Because that, that's what I do mainly on my channel. Uh, you know, I, I actually think the best way for me is just keep on doing what I'm doing. The main reason for that is just because sometimes when I commentate games, you know, I'm not very interested in. Uh, I got nothing to talk about. So talking about the offense and talking about the defense takes up a good amount of time, which is... And it makes the the whole process much easier for me. And also, it benefits you guys more if I do it that way. But if for whatever reason you guys don't like the series, like just the way it's headed, uh, let me know in the comments below. But I feel like the best way is just to keep on doing what I've been doing. Because it's much more helpful for you guys. And, you know, it's much easier for me. So, damn, I'm getting smacked. So, you know, the Chargers are a weird team. Because... On paper, they should be a really good team, you know. You got Phillip Rivers, who's a top five, top ten uh, quarterback, I'd say. Then you got Vincent Jackson, Malcolm Floyd, Antonio Gates. Three really good, really big-ass receivers. 6'5", six 6'5", five, six five, and 6'4". Then you got Patrick Creighton, who's not terrible. Uh, Vincent Brown, who's not terrible. Look at Patrick Creighton right here, though. That's a ridiculous catch. Um, two good, not great, but two solid receivers. And then Mike Tolbert, uh, Ryan Matthews. Still looking yeah. for an open man. A good team, it looks like. As a this is a dot right. by Philip Rivers. Oh, damn. A but for whatever reason, this team gets a lot of bullshit and not in a good way. Like, a lot of it has to do with Philip Rivers just being inconsistent. Um, he's not a bad quarterback. But, you know, sometimes he'll just miss his throw, and I don't know why I think EA hates Phil Rivers, because sometimes he'll just miss a throw. Like, he'll just overthrow a guy, he'll underthrow him, he can't pass lead correctly. And you'll see it a lot in this game. He, like, will just miss Antonio Gates or something. And, you know, that's one of the reasons I get scared of using this team, because, you know, you never know what kind of quarterback play you're actually going to get. I'm not going to say you're going to get bad quarterback play all the time, but... Philip Rivers will find a way to fuck it up for you, it seems like. And, you know, it shouldn't be like that. Good so I'm kind of shaky on Philip Rivers. But I'd say for the most part, he does a good job. It's just it's just like Kevin Cobb, really. Like, you know, some 80% of the time he's good. 20% of the time he's really bad. So, you know, I, I give him a B plus at quarterback, just like Kevin Cobb. Which sucks, because... When you get fucking Rivers is so much like better than Cole, and, and you should expect perfection from a guy like him. But then again, this is Madden 12, so. But then again, he did have a bad season, so you know, I can't really say much about that either. So yeah, Rivers B plus, not that great, but he's good enough, I'd say. And then does he house this on me? I think he's gonna house this. Yep. Looks like he's gonna house it. If you just keep going straight. But he's not going straight, is he? Eh, that'd be much better if I got a fumble, but whatever. So, running backs. I like the running backs a lot. You know, Mike Tolbert. 
He's a good big back, but he fumbles a lot. He's a 79 carry. And a thank you, sticker, for Plum Bum. Not gonna say his full name. Not gonna say his full name. Um, but, you know, Mike Tolbert, he's alright. He fumbles a lot. Uh, Ryan Matthews is a good elusive back. But, you know, they got nobody really fast. They got nobody really. Nobody really special. Like, you know, Matthews was crazy good early in the year, but now he's just, you know. He's more yeah, average, I guess. Is really he still has some, like, you know, freaky qualities to him, but for the most part, he's pretty average. And that's they just a bad idea toss. by me. Why do I have Tolbert on a toss? That makes no sense at all. So, uh, running backs, eh, you know, eh, no, nothing, nothing to get crazy about. Uh, but wide receiver, that's where they fucking excel at. Because you got Vincent Jackson, who is the best... Bush. Not the best, off. but definitely a top five receiver in my opinion. 6'5", he's got 91, 92 speed, I think. He's searching for a receiver. He's got, um, I think, a 90 jump or something ridiculous. And just a crazy catch in traffic, crazy catch. Uh, he's just a good, big receiver who's kind of fast Has also. Right. Uh, he, he's one of my favorite receivers Defense in the game. And then you also got Malcolm Floyd on the other side. Malcolm Floyd is a weird, weird player because he's 6'5". Um, and he makes some crazy ass catches. Like he makes some crazy one-handed catches, but for some reason Bush he drops a cap. lot of balls. Like every time he gets hit, you'll see it in this game. I think uh, he drops a one like slant that's just Matthews. right there for him to take, but he just drops it, and it's, uh, it really pisses me off sometimes. And then Antonio the Gates. Field. Gates is just a great right. tight end. You know, one of the best tight ends to ever play the game. He's a great target to have, you know, he just catches everything around him. Um, you know, sometimes he'll drop the flat passes, but, you know, almost anybody in Madden 12 will drop a flat pass for whatever reason, just because it's Madden 12. And I already talked about Patrick Creighton and, uh, what's his name? Patrick Creighton and Vincent Brown. And look at that, another user hit stick fumble. Maybe I should make an animation for that. But for some reason, I can't pick it up. I don't know why. So, you know, that's all talking about the offense. Good receivers. Decent running backs. But with Phillip Rivers, is just always a question mark. Don't get it wrong. I, he's not a terrible quarterback at all. He's just sometimes inconsistent. And I've always been a Rivers fan, you know. Like, I've always liked Rivers. I always thought he was good. Oh, he's straight from wide open if he hit it. But <laughs> that's a nice pick right now. So, you know, I would like to see him be a better quarterback in the game. It was just a bad run by me. Look how wide open the right side of the field is. Look at this shit. Look at that. There's nobody there except that one safety. I could probably make a miss with a stiff arm or something, but I fuck it up. So, where am I at? I'm at defense now, aren't I? Defense, defense, defense. A lot of people hate this defense. For some reason, I love this defense. Uh, you got Kaysan, and then you got Quentin Jammer as your two corners. In. They're not fast. They're both an 89 speed, I think. And But they're six foot, both of them. And then I think Jammer can press. I don't know about Kaysan. I think he can press pretty well. So, <laughs> with zone, I think, they're a really good team. And uh, their safeties. This is what I do with their safeties. I take Bob Sanders out. Because he's honestly god awful. He's not fast. He can't catch. He can jump, I guess, and he can tackle. But that's pretty much it. Uh, he's 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 basically a liability on defense. He's, he has no purpose other than sitting on the bench. I what I do? I put uh, Eric Weddle at strong safety, and then I put uh, I think Pat Oliver at free safety. It's something Oliver. He's like an 89 speed. Not much better, but he can jump, and he's 5'11", so a little bit better than Bob Sanders. So, you know, I have Kaysan at 1, Jammer at 2, then Eric Weddle at strong safety, and then, uh, look at Floyd dropping that. That's what I'm talking about. Then I got Oliver at, uh, free safety. So, those are my top four guys right there. And I'll post my entire depth chart in the description below, so you can check that out. Go ahead. And I love their linebackers. I love their linebackers. They have so much linebackers. They got Takeo Spikes. They got Antoine Barnes. They got... Sean Phillips, uh, Darius As Butler. Right. Yeah, that's one of their dudes. Okay, glitch, but I forget his name. Then uh, for for their DNs, I just put um, 
Going down I, I put either Antoine Barnes and um, oh, was... fuck, what's his name? Uh, mm, shit, I forget his name, but he's a fucking. That's a left. bad throw by me. It, it's some other fast linebacker. He's got room. So you know those two guys at the end, and then at D tackle I put Luis Castillo, and then Corey Luget, I think that's how you say his name. He's going to his right. Face throw. So yeah, that's basically my setup. I'll try to find all those guys' names and put it in the deck chart below. And look at that, Hassan doing work. I think he actually fumbles right here, which is so fucking sad for him because I, I if I fumbled right there, I would have been. To quote Mason, so sour right there. I would've been so angry if I fumbled. And I, I get so pissed off when I fumble on the goal line because you know that shit's gonna happen. And that never happens for me. So I'm kinda happy that it happened for me. <laughs> but it came at a terrible time for him, I guess. And then it's not a face star really. There's nobody behind him. So look at Matthews go. So yeah, there's the, the team. If you guys have any questions about how I set up the team, uh, what I think about the team just leave a comment below but let me you know get into this game because right now it's actually a pretty good game 17 19 and uh, to be honest I felt like I felt I did a pretty good job defending him you know he got that one touchdown with uh, Bush early on because you know he got that big ass kick return that's only my third touchdown. It's kind of, it's kind of weird because I had a lot of opportunities, now but he did a good a job down, shutting me down. Go. But like I said earlier, I felt I did a good job stopping him. You know, he had those three possessions where he scored Survey a touchdown, a field. touchdown, and a field goal. But that's because he was on my side of the 50 and also like really close to the goal line. Uh, but every other time when he was on his 50, uh, behind his 50, I mean, he didn't do anything, I don't think. He, he had the turnover on downs. You had the safety and he had the interception. Looking so every time he was on his 20 or around there, he didn't do anything on offense. It's just only when he was within my 30 yard line, I'd say, he scored. For Look at that, 4th and 10 turnover. So That's I definitely it. felt I played the better defensive game just because I didn't let a lot of fluky shit happen. And sort of, ooh, look at that. This is the shit I'm talking about. What kind of throw is that? And before you make excuses for the game, I pass led down so uh, he wouldn't even go out of bounds. It's ridiculous how that that even happened. So, you know, but I still take the what is it, 17 point lead? No, not 17 yet. It would be 17 if I get this uh, two point conversion. Oh, <laughs> look at look at L1. Look, look at this dot. This is a nice throw by Philip Rivers. I'll admit that. L1, bring him back. Dot. I need that animation so badly. So 17 points in a minute and 50 seconds. It's it's a hard, it's a hard feat. But you know, this guy can face throw like a motherfucker. Like he loves to face throw. And you know, I'm not a pro face throw guy. I hate face throws. That being said, I'm not going to tell somebody to not face throw. If they face throw, then uh, I got to try my best to stop it. <laughs> but. Uh, Plum Bum loves to face throw. He, he does it a He's lot at the end of this game. Yeah. Oh my god, there you go. There's one. And the was the yeah. there. I think right I the dropped this interception receiver. also. This is another drop interception. I keep saying can't smang that, but that's not a really good, good word for interceptions. And I can't pick this one off either. Side. That's three in a row. Well, not three in a row, but you know, it's a couple. Couple in a row. And another face throw. There you go. And the reason I don't like face throwing is not that I can't defend it because it is hard to defend, but it's not impossible. You can definitely defend it. Fires a strike to the right. I think he just won. He, he said engage eight on that play. I don't know why. The reason I don't like face throws is because they're so powerful, but they're so easy to do. It's, it's it's basically a gimmick, and you know, no other gimmick in the game. I don't care what you're talking about nanos and shit. No other gimmick in the game has such a more beneficial outcome than a face throw because if people chose to uh, they could face throw down the field if they wanted to and it's really hard to stop uh, I don't care who you say you are you're not gonna stop a face throw every single time occasionally you know you can stop guy three times in a row but on the fourth time he will face throw you for a first down or a touchdown and this is funny look, look at Brian Hartline wide open the flats and <laughs> Gets fucking smacked by Jammer. So, you know, I don't like it. I hope they take it out in Madden 13. That would be the most ideal situation for Madden going forward. Get rid of face throws. And that's just a bad move by me. I should have just fucked it so this game would look better.
but I felt I did a pretty good job. I felt I was clearly the winner in this game. You know, I think it was just Madden He's making it look close. But 33 40. I just kneel it out. I don't want to even risk it. it I'm not going to overtime with him again. And <laughs> that's pretty much it, guys. That's the game. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave us a like. It is very much appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. That's always appreciated also. And uh, check out Kilo Never California ebook. Go yeah, check out Madsoon.com. Check us and out on Twitch.tv or on Machinima. We might be streaming on YouTube soon. So forget I said that. And that's it, guys. It's Packy123. Thanks for watching.